The Eastern Cape government is launching the Provincial Aviation School at the 43 Air School in Port Alfred today. This is a milestone in the education sector in the province. The Eastern Cape Aviation School aims to establish a high school for aerospace science as part of a new model of public education focusing on science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Kim Daniels is there. Let's find out uh, what's happening. Tell us a little bit more about this, Kim. Good morning, Leanne. It is a beautiful day in Port Alfred this morning and a very special one at that, as you mentioned. The Eastern Cape is launching its first av aviation school. As you mentioned, we are at the 43 Air School, which is a world-class facility. Facilities that our young men and women won't necessarily have access to without this program. Kids as young as 15, 16 years old will have access to this. They will start with their STEM um, subjects, that being math science and technology, you know, just to give them extra foot forward to get into the spaces um, of uh, aerospace maritime as well. But I'm joined now by the MEC of Education in the province, Mr. Garde. Thank you for your time. Just tell us a little bit about this program and how it came about. Yes, uh, once more, good morning to you and good morning to the viewers. We, when we have adopted uh, the Education Systems Transformation Plan, as a direct response to the national development plan so that so that the country can be able to get at least a bit of skills within the sector of education we then sat down as a province and uh, look at the blind spots and one of the blind spots that we picked up was the uh, the absence or the lack thereof of the aviation faculty within the curriculum design itself and therefore we started negotiating with this institution institution uh, with its own management with the intention of buying it by the way from the starting point or alternatively having a share in terms of partnership but that one didn't succeed at that time three years back we then come back and say no fine let's have our own kids that will be enrolled here with government responsibility to pay for all the fees and all the necessities that are there at a cost of 1.4 million uh, each, uh, 25 of them, uh, which are going to start uh, at the beginning of the faculties this year. But again, we then said we must have another alternative way out, which is an establishment of a high school for the aviation faculty as well, uh, the kids that are, are, and again, that will be doing grade 10 uh, via the Port Alfred High School. So that ultimately, in a space of three years to come, we can totally change the Port Alfred High School into an aviation high school. So we have got a hybrid approach. The ones that are doing the tertiary institution education um, via the passari that we're going to give them at a rate of 1.4 million each. And again, the other ones that are going to do the basic education from grade uh, 10 up to grade 12, but linked to this establishment in the main, so that there is a similarity uh, in terms of what then they are taught uh, from the classroom and to the, to the, to the lecture room. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, MEC. Um, they're just asking us to cross back uh, to studio. That was our MEC for Education in the province, uh, Mr. Fundile Gare, just saying or explaining the importance of um, a program such as this to get our young kids into these spaces and also ultimately to improve uh, the economic climate and development of the province. But from now, for us here in Port Alfred, it's back to you in studio. All right, Kim Daniels, thank you. Great development there, it really is. All right, so that's uh, what's happening in Port Alfred.